This video explains what happens during knee arthroscopy surgery. Arthroscopy is a type of keyhole surgery to investigate and sometimes treat knee problems such as sport injuries or the removal of bone fragments. The knee joint is made up of three bones, the femur, also called the thigh bone, the tibia or shin bone and the patella or kneecap. We will look at how keyhole surgery is used to remove bone fragment. The surgery is carried out under a general anaesthetic or an epidural injection where you're awake but can't feel anything below the waist. The orthopaedic surgeon will make small cuts in the skin around the knee. Sterile fluid is inserted into the knee to expand the joint enabling a better view of the area. Next, the atheroscope, a metal instrument with a tiny camera, will be inserted into the joint for closer examination. To remove any loose bone fragments or scar tissue, a small surgical instrument is inserted through other small incisions. Once the bone fragment is removed, the surgeon will remove the camera and drain away any fluid that's built up in the knee due to injury or arthritis, along with any fluid injected during the procedure. They'll then close the incisions with stitches or staples and the area will be bandaged before moving the patient to recovery. Depending on the complexity of the surgery, a neophroscopy can take between 30 minutes and 2 hours. The consultant will explain what's been found and whether any other treatment is recommended. Although there's generally less pain after an arthroscopy than with traditional surgery, you're likely to feel discomfort once the anaesthetic wears off. Most people go home on the same day or the following day and the consultant will advise you on the type of activities to avoid. Physiotherapy is also recommended to help strengthen the muscles around your knee to aid recovery. For more information, contact your local Spire Hospital or visit the Spire Healthcare website.